This video provides instructions on how to stream MCX500 PGM output via Facebook Live. Connect to Facebook.com via computer. From the Create Post tab, click Options, and then click Live Video. Then click Connect at the top of the page. Choose where you want to post your broadcast. In the right-hand panel, you can share on your timeline, share in a group, or share in an event. Select to preview your broadcast with Stream Key. If you want your Stream Key to be permanent, select Enable Persistent Stream Key. If you don't select this, you won't be able to use this Stream Key again once the stream ends. The server URL and Stream Key appear near the end of the page. Please save both the server URL and Stream Key to your computer for future reference. We recommend that you do not share your stream key or persistent stream key as access to this information enables any other party to stream video to your post. Write a description and title. Then click Go Live or Schedule. If you choose Schedule, select a date and time when you want to go live. You can also add a custom image. When you schedule your live video, an announcement will be published immediately. People following your event will be notified about your scheduled broadcast, and some may be waiting for you at the scheduled start time. The live video will begin automatically at the scheduled start time. You must go live within 10 minutes of the scheduled time, or your live event will be cancelled. Now, it's time to connect the MCX500 and the computer. Use a LAN cable to connect to a computer via the PCUI network connector on the rear of the unit. Change the IP address of the computer to enable communication with the unit. The unit's IP address is fixed at 192.168.0.1 as a default. Specify an IP address that is identical to the unit's up to 192.168.0 but differs in the final set of digits. Example. Instead of 192.168.0.1, use 192.168.0.10. Set the subnet mask to 255.255.255.0. Press the Utility button on the control panel to display the Utility Two Thirds menu. Tap Network. The Network PCUI menu appears. Tap Direct to enable and tap Connect. The IP address display is updated. To access the unit, enter the IP address displayed in the Network menu into the address bar of your web browser. When access is successful, the password entry screen appears. Enter the authentication password and select Log in. Select Streaming in the Setup screen of the PCUI. Then make sure the Profile 2 tab is highlighted as Facebook URL. Enter the Upload Destinations URL acquired from the Facebook website obtained previously. Stream Name. Enter the stream name acquired from the Facebook website obtained previously. You can display the entered text for as long as display is held any time before the settings are applied with set. The entered text will be hidden after the settings are applied. Encode presets. Select the preset configuration. When you select an encoding preset, the setting configurations will appear in the area below, such as high, medium, and low bandwidth settings. Select Set. A message indicating that configuration is complete appears. Transmission controls are performed on the control panel. Press the Streaming button. The connection screen of the Streaming menu appears in the menu panel. Tap Facebook to connect to the Facebook server. When connection to the Facebook server is established, Standby mode is entered, and the standby icon appears in the multi-viewer. Tap Start. Streaming transmission starts. 
you can proceed with normal switching operations. The streaming button lights up blue while transmission is in progress. If you would like to stop transmission, tap stop. Streaming transmission stops and the streaming button turns off. The streaming menu enters standby mode. 